working and jamming and bobbing and weaving. Hey, chip on my shoulder. So What's going on guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to go over the top five scams you are most likely to encounter on offer up all these apply to facebook marketplace as well um, as well as other marketplace apps like craigslist and mercari but we're going to be talking about offer up today because they are often found at each and every day these five scams so let's just go over them if you guys find any value in this video please hit that like button subscribe if you enjoy uh, informative videos like this um, but without further ado, let's just get into the top five scams on OfferUp. So I'm just going to quickly go and run through these uh, five scams. Um, if this is the first time watching me, uh, I advise you to click this video right here. It's going to really go over how to spot a scammer. Um, it's going to, so this, it's kind of like a basis for this video. So please hit that uh, video right there. It's got over 20,000 views. It's helped a lot of people. Please go watch it. It's very, very helpful. It applies still to this day, it's still in 2021. Um, so please go watch that. But number one is going to be the free stuff scam. Scam. So the free stuff scam is kind of self-explanatory, but really someone, a scammer posts a picture of like an iPhone, let's say, I'll put something in an example right here, of it's zero dollars, and they put in the description something along the lines of, hey, uh, I'm giving this away for free, just tell me a reason you need it and I will give it to you. If for some reason that doesn't already sound sketchy and too good to be true, um, that is definitely a scam. Please do not uh, continue with that purchase. No one is giving away a brand new iPhone 12 for free. Most of the time, if you continue, they'll uh, they'll tell you to email them or contact them at a different number off of the site, which is already a no-no. So please, do, please, if you find anything that's giving away something for free, do not do it. It is obviously too good to be true and it's always gonna be 100% a scam. Uh, number two is what I call, I don't know if there's a name for it, but it's called the just posted scam. This isn't necessarily a scam in itself. It's more so a scammer trying to contact you. But anyways, say you're a seller and you post something, like say you're selling some shoes, you post some shoes. Within the first like minute or five minutes of you posting, somebody contacts you with, hey, is this available? Hey, I'm interested, something along those lines. Now, OfferUp has actually been doing a good job of catching these things and telling people, um, sellers, that this, hey, this is a scammer, do not continue messaging with this person. They're violating OfferUp's policy. Uh, basically, they're saying they've contacted you way too early um, in your posting process to make you believe this is an actual real person trying to make a purchase. I'm dumb. <laughs> I did this the other day just to show you guys uh, what exactly this happened to me. I posted something and they instantly uh, messaged me and I wanted to show you guys my messaging but I actually ended up blocking them before I could screenshot the messages. But um, if you post something and someone messages you, messages you within like the first three seconds, 10 seconds, even five minutes, uh, most of the time they're gonna be a scammer. Nobody, unless someone's, unless you have something really coveted, maybe like a PS5, you have to go through that process and, and, vet, and vex them. Um, go into that video that I just that I just said earlier in the video, but if you haven't seen that yet. But most of the time they're gonna be a scammer. They're gonna be someone trying to get you to uh, get, get you to contact them via another email or via another number, message me here so I can send you payment. Do not do those things. Uh, the just posted scam is really common. So if you're selling stuff, be wary of that. If someone message you within the first couple minutes, it's, uh, a lot of the times it's gonna be a scam. Number three is going to be the shipping scam. I've talked about this in my last video that I did on Facebook Marketplace, and I talked about it before. But if you haven't, if you haven't seen those, or if you haven't heard of the shipping scam, basically what it is is someone selling something. You message them, and they're like, "Hey, I can ship it to you for an increased amount." Hey, they're selling it to you for fifty dollars. Like, hey, for seventy dollars, I can send you the item, and I can ship it to you, so that you don't have to come over here. You don't have to drive. You don't have to move. I will send you the product. Just send me seventy dollars. This is actually a scam. They actually do not send you the product. This is actually how I've been scammed in the past, and that's what has started this channel and these videos. But basically, they tell you to cash app or PayPal them a certain amount before sending you the item, and they'll promise you with words that they're like, hey, no, I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send you the tracking number. But really, they don't send you anything so please don't send money first without actually um, getting the item and whatnot please use a secured shipping method via offer up and via Facebook marketplace do not trust anybody to actually send you the item after you send the money first it's probably never going to happen I don't think it's ever happened so please watch out for the shipping scam number four is gonna be the cash app scam now the cash app scam is sort of just sort of like the shipping scam um, it's basically they want you to pay them through cash up or paypal so that there's no way to get the money back if you are scammed because that's what they're trying to do always use offer ups or facebook marketplace secured shipping uh method on the actual platform use their buying system do not use any other method do not do separate deals on the side do not believe them when they say like yay uh this 
OfferUp or Facebook or whatever is taking out too many taxes, is it okay if you pay me through Cash App and then I'll send you the product? That is never going to work. That actually, that's an easy way for them to scam you. They actually kind of make you feel bad for them. They're like, oh man, I don't want them to get uh, taking taxes out of them, but they are responsible as a seller to take taxes into account into their price. Please do not cash at PayPal, uh, Zell somebody some money before receiving a product or paying for a product. Um, even if they send you, if, if something's wrong once you get it or broken, um, you cannot get uh, buyer protection through OfferUp or Face Marketplace because you didn't conduct the purchase through their buying system. So please, to, to give you full protection, please buy them through the sites and never cash app or PayPal somebody unless you've met with them in person and inspected the item and you just cash app on site. So number five is gonna be the pay half now scam. Well, that's what I call it. This scam is very often found on OfferUp. It's basically someone selling, a, let's just say a PS5 for 500, let's make it easy. So they say uh, you can pay half now and then pay half later once you receive the item. Now in theory, this does sound like a good uh, way to buy something because like, hey, I can get, I can send half now sort of a deposit and then once I get the item and see that it's all good, that I can pay the other 250 and then I'm secured. I have like some sort of protection, right? A lot of the times what happens is once you send the 250 through um, Cash App or PayPal, cause you can't send half through um, uh, through OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace, you'd have to do it on like Cash App or PayPal or Zelle or something like that, something they decide. So once you send over that 250, they usually just end up keeping it and never sending you anything. Just giving you like, hey, it's on the way, whatever, whatever. And once you pay on Cash App or PayPal for friends and family, um, there's really no way that you can get your money back. It's really hard to get your money back. Those apps like Cash App and stuff are meant for like friends and family to like send over money quickly. So that those are what they're designed for. So they're not really, so it's really hard to get your money back once you send it on those sites. But yeah, just be wary of that. A lot of, this is really, really commonly found the pay half now, pay half later scam. It happens a lot, it's on a lot of posts. Just avoid those in general. Just. I, if you have the money for whatever it is, buy it in full, buy it at a store, wait for it to drop. I know the PS5s are dropping pretty soon, so please, please do not fall for that scam. It's a very common, common one on OfferUp, um, and I just really want you guys to watch out for that while you're shopping, because I want you guys to shop safely. But yeah, guys, those are going to be the top five scams you're most likely to encounter on OfferUp. I'm not saying all of these are scams 100% of the time, but 99.9% .9 of the time, these are scams. If you if some of these that you've encountered and they're not scams, please drop that story below or drop me in my DMs on Instagram. I, just, I look at every comment, every Instagram uh, DM that I get. So yeah, if you guys find any value in this video, please hit that like button. He's, please hit subscribe if you enjoy the content like this. If this is your first time here, thank you guys for watching. My name is Fernando. I'm a part-time reseller on the internet, and I show you guys how to shop safely on eBay, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, and stuff like that. So if you enjoy that stuff, please hit subscribe so you can get more videos like this on the way. You guys already know. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one.